Well, everyone knows I love railways, but uh, these are some of the biggest I've seen. And we're down in Hobart looking at these today. So we're not up at Don, we're not up at Launceston, we're down in Hobart. And there's some really impressive old engines here. Let's go and see. The Tasmanian Transport Museum is located at Glenorchy, one of the outlying suburbs of Hobart. And it encompasses a lot of history going back well over 100 years, including steam and diesel locomotives, as well as quite a few other pieces of historical significance in the transport industry as well. So in the old roundhouse, I've got a number of old locos, several steam, several diesels, and even a rail motor. So quite a diverse range of trains here. The Transport Museum at this site also includes the original station, which has been restored to how it was back in the early 1900s. This incorporates everything that this working station would have had in it. Also on this site are trams, including this rear double-decker tram and some later single-deck trams as well. Like in many parts of Australia, trams were phased out in favour of diesel buses and there are quite a number of these also on display and an old Wolseley car converted for use on railway lines. Also on this site are a number of scale models of historic railway rolling stock and a big model train layout for those who like their adventures in a small scale. There are traction engines and some other stuff still to be restored. Well, if you're on a trip through the southern parts of Tasmania, one of the places you absolutely must see is this little fella behind me, Richmond Bridge. I know I've been here before. Well, I'm here again because it really is something to see. Ah, how's that serenity? And Richmond has that in spades, along with a lot of other pieces of colonial history, including the architecture of most of the buildings. There is a model old Ho Hobart town, as it was in 1820, and the buildings themselves are worth coming from anywhere in the world to see, all original. That wasn't that interesting. Anyway, we'll see you next time in what we like to call the two-hour circle. Please hit the like button or subscribe to the channel.